over doesn't the last it show Shane Ross that really you know years. you will hear th- people will say things like this, but behind the scenes people are calculating the reality. And actually, in our system, we don't elect a government; we elect a doll. The yes. doll elects the government. That is actually the business of the doll and all the speculation that's going to go on. Yeah, I, I see no problem whatsoever uh, with Fianna Fáil and Fianna, Fáil, Fianna Fáil getting together. It's a totally natural fit. They agree about absolutely everything except for the civil war and a few other things like that. And I think it's, they will both look at each other very longingly uh, <laughs> after the next election. Whether they'll do it or not, I don't know. The grassroots obviously will, will be antagonistic because of, for historical reasons, but there's no logical reason why it shouldn't happen. I also think the thesis of what, of what Brian Dowling said there is correct. The numbers dictate it. It's not ideology, it's pure opportunism, and that's what's happened in the past. And don't forget, I, th- I think there's one thing that, he, that, he, that is even less likely in the public mind than that combination, is the Fine Gael, Fine Gael Sinn Féin thing, which is supposed, so they're supposed to be direct opposites. You know, if those numbers get, to get, get right, don't rule that out either. Remember Frank Flannery had a flirtation with Sinn Féin a little while ago and got into awful hot water for doing it within Fine Gael. Catherine, so anything is possible. You're on- 